All right, guys, I'm Man Cave with Tools today. We are going to go over the part five of the Neuron Adventure that happened over in Europe. And I, I'll tell you this, this one's a good one. In this video, we are going to show the reciprocating saws and the circular saws and seeing how well these actually do with the Neuron batteries. You guys know the last video that's coming up after this one is going to be the angle grinders and nibblers. The operator simply needs to hold the tool, then activate the tool. Whenever the tool, the sensors detect that the contact between the grip and the hand is lost, for example, if the operator is falling, tripping, and drops the tool, then the tool will automatically detect it, switch off, and how fast this brake will engage. And that video is coming soon, but when it comes to this, Hilti actually made a tool that they never had before. Other brands do have it, but this is Hilti's first. Hilti made a single-handed reciprocating saw. Okay. All right, so I'm actually excited to get this one. I wasn't able to test it out like I wanted to uh, over in Switzerland. I want a little bit more time to actually test this out. I can't wait to get oh, whatever package I get from Hilti. And uh, just so you guys know, I am going to get an adapter that will allow you to use the new Neuron batteries in your older Hilti tools. So we are going to see if the new Neuron batteries actually help per, helps perform your older stuff. Please subscribe to the channel for that stuff. Let's test out some jigsaws, let's test out the circular saws, and let's test out the reciprocating saws. That's now the big advantage, you can just pick whatever battery you want. It's just, if you want to balance it, it makes, I would not put that one in the cup right here. But this one here, you can press it with it.
I like it though. Great? It is great though. It's on the side. Yeah. You know what? It's not a trigger. Oh man. All right. Let's see what the difference is. Um, just only be careful. You have only maybe oh, yeah, one inch close to the edge. No. I can move a little bit for you. Yeah, we good. Yeah. And that is actually uh, an onboard solution for yeah for dust extraction. Is this is this detachable? Yes. You can do this. You can remove it, or you can keep it. Now, will this will that work on this as well? Will not. This will not, unfortunately, because yeah. Um, so this will sometimes be used also in this way. Yeah. Um, and so we prefer to have the bar center of the tool as close as possible to the base plate to make sure that the handling is right. And, um, and so to redu when reducing this distance, we lost the space for this one. I gotcha. Push it down. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, I can't wait to test these tools out. I got one more video coming up of the angle grinders and nibblers. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.